Hi everyone, welcome on my video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a neural network on MATLAB uh, for image classification. So for this purpose, I choose to work on this data set. So you can download it online and I'm going to leave the link in the description. description. And uh, so it's a very um, easy data set to work with. It has 70,000 images of 2828 and they are gray images. So the first step would be to download this data set and then I just put a I put two folders here. Uh, one folder is for training and one folder is for testing. So you can use the image data store for this purpose and what I did is I put 2000 uh, training images and 400 testing images okay so the next step is to uh, make labels for these images so the way I did it was I put uh, so basically we have different images and each one would represent uh, tops or trousers or leggings or uh, shoes and our neural network would be uh, would have to classify these <clears throat> so the labels would be from 0 to 9 and they would mean maybe for example 0 for t-shirts uh, 5 for shoes uh, 2 for leggings for example and so this is what I've done on the, this step I just created labels for this data set Okay, and this is where all the, our images and these are all the labels for these images. Okay, then I sort out these labels and I counted how many image we have in each category. Mm -hmm, right here. Okay, yeah. And then I split our training data into two. So I split uh, some for training and some for validation. Okay. Uh, this is the number of images I want to have in the validation. Okay, so the next step is uh, to create our neural network. So this is something you are free to add as many layers as you need for your model. And uh, I will show you later on where you can read more about each layer. Okay, so for my uh, neural network, I wanted to add the first layer as an image input layer. So as you know, our images are 28 by 28 and they are gray images. So we put one here. And then uh, the last layer would be a fully connected layer, which would have the output. And it's gonna be a softmax activation function. And in between, you are free to change these, but this is what gave me the best accuracy. So I put a convolution layer uh, with a um, pool size of two, two, and a stride of two. That's, yeah, that's the max pooling layer. And then I, I added some more convolution layers with padding and um, some more fully connected layers. But I will show you where you can read more about these layers so you know exactly what, which ones you need. So the second step is the options. And these are options you need your neural network be using for example the learning rate how many epochs and uh, where are the validation data some of them uh you, you can change and some of them you better keep it as default so the one the other options you don't see here they are basically will be uh, as default and um yeah that's it so the next step will be to start training our neural network so we can use this command tra train new network and uh, this is our training data using the layers above here and options we just specified then we are gonna try to classify our validation data with, uh, with uh, our neural net 
and then we are going to see the accuracy of this classification. Okay, then finally, if you want, you can add this step as well, and it's a confusion, ma confusion matrix, so you can see your results. Okay, so I'm going to try to run this code and see. Okay. Okay, so what you will have this screen and this is where the neural network is training. Okay. So we need to wait for this training to finish to get an accuracy. So as you can see in the beginning, our accuracy is very low, but as our neural network is training, it's going to go up higher and higher. So hopefully it will reach 90% or above, but I would be happy with 80%. Okay. But if you, you can change the parameters and the options and tune your neural network to try to get higher accuracy. So it's a good sign that it's going up. And these are the parameters that I specified right here. Let me show you. Yeah, so these options, this is what we have here as well. Okay. Okay, so we'll just give it a moment and we'll come back to this later. And I want to show you, uh, so to do for this project, I used the deep learning toolbox from a MATLAB. And uh, it has many tutorials where you can go and read more about, uh, so layers, for example. These are some of the layers I used, so you can click on each one to know more information about how this layer works, the description, which arguments you can put, and when do you use it. Also, you have more information about uh, uh, how to pre-process images and predictions. Yeah, so it's a really nice and easy toolbox. So you can check it out, it's, it's under MATLAB. Okay, so yeah, you just need to download it and then you'll be able to use all the functions and make your networks. Okay, we can go back to our model now, let's see. Okay, it's still far, but it's good. We are getting now, we are almost reaching 80% accuracy, but it's struggling to go above 80%. So we'll have to give it a little bit more time and see. It's reaching 80% and falling down. I tried using different layers. I tried to reduce some of the layers, but I I did I couldn't go above uh, eighty percent. And this is actually the best accuracy I've got with this model. Okay. Yeah. So we used, as I said, two thousand images and four hundred for testing. Also, you can use these commands if you want to have a confusion matrix. And basically, the confusion matrix will tell you which ones are uh, are actually uh, t-shirts classified as t-shirts, and how many are t-shirts that are classified as leggings, and you know, just the false positives and the, the the false negatives and the right ones as well. Okay. All right, so here our model reached 79%. That's not bad. So this is our accuracy. And as I said, we can change uh, many options and see if we get anything higher than that. So this is how we make a neural network on MATLAB. Thank you for watching this video.